As the senator approached, beyond him you could see the house on the family compound where the president used to live. Well, this is the best place in the world. A little blessed here today, but it's marvelous. Just yesterday, hours after getting out of the hospital, the senator was out on the water. On his return trip to the dock today, he talked about the outpouring following first word of his illness and now his fight against a tough diagnosis. Oh, they were just so spectacular up there. All the nurses and doctors, and we've received an incredible amount of wonderful uh, notes and letters from friends and colleagues in the Senate. And, and uh, as well as from um, people here in Massachusetts, it's all been very touching. Ted Kennedy also talked about the water. His boyhood history is here. This coastline has always been the Kennedy family's natural state. Generations of us watched the former president sail these same Atlantic waters, technically Nantucket Sound. And today his brother was asked what he gets out of a day like today. You know, sort of an aspect of uh, the life that always has been some place we grew up on, uh, learned to swim on and, and to, to sail on. And it's been an enormous uh, resource, enriching experience. Senator Ted Kennedy from earlier today. By the way, there's a great story on our website about a young man who wrote to Senator Kennedy via an email to us. It's about living with a tough medical diagnosis of a brain tumor. You can see and hear his story at nightly.msnbc.com.